This week, the Oprah Winfrey Charitable Foundation announced newest grant recipients of Oprah Winfrey's now $12 million COVID-19 relief fund. The money is being distributed to several different organizations in five different cities, many of which have a special connection to the media mogul. Oprah Winfrey is giving some $2 million in contributions to the Tennessee State uh, Initiative, which uh, services the school and the surrounding community. And joining us tonight is the president of Tennessee State University, Dr. Glenda Glover. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Well, we're so interested in hearing exactly what this partnership is that you have with Oprah Winfrey and her foundation. Can you tell us about it? Yes, TSU was extremely honored that Oprah Winfrey, one of our outstanding alums, uh, chose Nashville and TSU uh, to form a partnership through which she could uh, assist the citizens of Nashville and um, the community, surrounding community. So we're happy that we were able to provide food cards, uh, $200 food cards for, to be used at Kroger for 10,000 families in the area. And it was phenomenal because there's such a great need here. And at first it was 5,000 after talking through it and we saw the need was so great, she raised it to 10,000 families. So it's just a wonderful time here. It's a great day, a great moment in the city of Nashville. And, and a great moment for Tennessee State University. So many and that great, <laughs> great, uh, so many great uh, institutions there, Meharry, of course, Fisk, and, uh, and you all as well. Are you all kind of collaborating or is it just mainly Tennessee State working with this? It's, 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 it's Tennessee State. I think she chose Texas alma mater, so she chose TSU. But, of course, we, we reached out to Meharry and to fist those communities because uh, individuals in those communities are in need uh, for the other food. So we made sure they were included in the 10,000 families. And tell us how you and your staff and your students, how are all of you doing and handling uh, life during this pandemic? It's not easy. I want to get back to the office, <laughs> but um, it's the students had to leave as you as as they did across the country in mid March, and it was such an abrupt leave that uh, in 48 hours we had transformed uh, years of tradition of how we had uh, imparted uh, information to students. All of a sudden, it became online. Was the good thing was that TSU had already uh, been prepared for online. Everybody has a shelf from the beginning. That's a requirement, but we didn't know we would use it so so quickly and so substantially. So we just prepared uh, every student. We had so many challenges with that though because the students did not have the men did not have the connectivity required. They didn't have the laptops. They didn't. They had cell phones. Almost everybody has a smartphone, but. It only takes you so far. You have a smartphone. You can, of course, do the zooming and the skyping and and you know, the lecturing. But when it comes to doing papers and and modeling, the the smartphones just doesn't go far enough. So we were in desperate need of devices. So the alumni stepped up to the plate and helped us to put together funds for to get students devices. Uh, then the CARES Act came along, and the CARES Act will help for this fall. Uh, but we, we had some major challenges in trying to refund students of the, for not being there for the full semester. They were trying to project a revenue loss for the fall. So there, there, there is, is com uh, just a multitude of challenges that we're facing right now. And, you know, Dr. Glover, we've heard about the uh, efforts that all kinds of HBCUs are making to help in their communities. But you guys need some help yourself as far as funding goes. COVID-19 took a big hit on you guys as well, right? It absolutely did. Um, uh, the CARES Act, again, had a special section for HBCUs, and, and we're using that funding to, our plan is to use that funding for the fall to assist in some of the operational aspects of, 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 of the needs. But for the fir this first semester, the students did not uh, come back after midterm. When they came back, they had to leave right away. So that meant we had to get them home. Uh, get them devices so they could finish for this semester. They finished online and we lost, you know, you lose revenue. There's a huge revenue loss when you go to online learning because there's no, all the auxiliary enterprises basically shut down because the, the food services, the, the residence halls, uh, the, the other auxiliary requirements like the bookstores, all those are, are shut down for the semester. And that's a, that's a huge money loss for us. So does Oprah Winfrey stay in contact with the school? I mean, obviously it's a pandemic, so this has caused her, of course, to you know, lend a hand where she ordinarily wouldn't have to, but what's the relationship there? 
Well, she made a contribution to us before I got there. I've been, this is um, in my eighth year now, and she she has supported us in the past, and so and we're just you know we're getting back together with her now. So this is a time that's really needed. <laughs> so we're so pleased that that uh, we're back together again. Oh, and she and she brought the uh, checkbook with her. That's a good thing. <laughs> and she's, she's amazing. She's amazing as generals. And the yeah. 10,000 families are so appreciative. You know, we can tell you story after story of how the, the, the accomplishment was thanking us and they were down to no food and they just had no no way of knowing families of a mother with six children had no way of knowing uh, where her food was coming from because she had been laid off from work. But this was to help those who were in need, not the ones who were just in a certain income level, but anyone who had been laid off, you know, and Nashville was a tourism city. So if you were laid off from the hotels, the restaurants, you know, that really affected the, the core of our economy. So it was really a blessing for her to come in with her generosity the way she did. All right, we're nice, we're so happy to hear a positive story of people getting help in this time of need. And so we thank you so much for joining us this evening, Dr. Glover of Tennessee State University. Thank you so much for inviting me.